Today I'm gonna draw Spongebob in nine different styles, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. So let's get silly. Style one, Dr. Seuss. I wanna start this off by just emphasizing how creepy Spongebob would look in any other style. So I'll give him the gloves, lots of cross hatching, big upper lip. Holy shit, that is terrifying. That is pure nightmare fuel. Style two, Archer. I tried to pick styles that I haven't seen Spongebob drawn in before, and styles that would just kinda look funny. I'll give him the different line densities, big thick brows, big thick cheekbones, and Christ on a freaking bike, that is awful. That is one of the worst things I've ever drawn. Style three, Golden Age Disney, that's the Pinocchio Fantasia era. Give him big puffy cheeks, make him look way too enthusiastic. Mickey Mouse glove, and whoops. This might have been a bad idea. <laughs> I'm not enjoying any of these Spongebob so far. Style four, Cyanide and Happiness. If you don't know Cyanide and Happiness, you probably know the webcomic, it's this one. So I'll give him a round head, big black circles for eyes, stick figure arms and legs. And that is a relief that he is not looking creepy. Actually, it's kind of cute. I kind of like this guy. He's sweet. I'll give him a cuddle. Style five, Tintin. Tintin is one of my favorite illustrators. Very charming character design. I really want to capture the curiosity that he'd always put into Tintin. And ta-da, it's Bob Bob. <laughs> style six, Don Martin. You might not know Don Martin's name, but if you've ever read a Mad Magazine, you'll definitely know his style. This is just some of his stuff for reference. He's got that long shin, very lanky limbs, eyes a little bit too close together. Well, hot dog, we're back in the creepy zone. Let's keep drawing. Style seven, app icon. Having done something a little bit nostalgic, I'll, I'll chase it up with something new. Blue, notification. And that was a total cop out, I am sorry. <laughs> Style eight, Wallace and Gromit. Give him those tiny little eyes, big buck teeth, big chunky hands, and kind of a bit of gray around the yellow to make it look a bit more clay. Uh, I hate it so much. I hate you. Style nine, let's bring it home with Daria. Very minimal features, a line for a mouth, little circles for eyes. I always like the way that clothes folded in that show. And there you go. You get it together, Morgan Sponger. We are complete. That is nine styles of Spongebob. I'll add a bonus style, my style. No pupils, because I think it just makes things a little way funnier and creepier. Lots and lots and lots of cross hatching. Once again, we are back to Spongebob giving you a panic attack. Hello, freak. Thanks so much for watching. I'm really quite enjoying this like illustration challenge thing. So if there's like a character or a, or a few art styles that you want to see, let me know. Otherwise, have a friggin' great day. Hope you made a cool dog and win 60 bucks on Kano. Catch ya.